Hello guys and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. We're jumping straight into today's video. I have some cleaning and chores that I need to get done around the house. I also have a DIY project I want to work on. I'm so excited to get this project done and tackled and I can't wait to share it with you guys. But let me go ahead and get my bed made and then we'll move on to the next task. When I remove my decorative pillows and throw pillows off my bed at night, I always throw them in Chase's um, closet and just shut the door. If I leave them out, my boys think it's just their own little bedding to sleep on. So I've learned just to throw it in there and then they stay clean and tidy. And then when I need to make it the next morning, I just grab them out. So both of us just know to do that to keep them nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my laundry room and see what needs to be done in there. My laundry room is always the catch-all space. I think it's because things can get thrown in there and I can shut the door if guests come over, but I'm always trying to see like, is the laundry clean? Is there dry laundry? So I noticed in the dryer also, because laundry was ready to go. So I just put that back in her bedroom. So when she gets home later, she can fold it and put it away. And now I'm gonna come in here in the kitchen and just work on getting the dishes put away. Um, anything that's out on the countertops, I'm just gonna make sure this space is nice and clean. Once I finish putting away all the clean dishes, I'm gonna go ahead and take my vitamins for today. I do wanna thank Ritual for sponsoring this part of today's video. I know we all want to do the right thing and just keep our bodies super healthy in the long run. And I know some of us work so hard at eating kale salads and drinking green smoothies, but most likely a lot of us aren't getting the key ingredients that we need on a daily basis. Um, so that's why I love Ritual. It's just too easy to take tap so they swallow so easily. What I love about them is there's like a minty taste to them instead of like that fishy aftertaste. Plus, you guys know we are not the healthiest eaters around here. So this just helps me rest easy at night that I'm getting some key ingredients in my body that I need as a woman. Chase also has a set that he takes for men and they're amazing as well. Um, Ritual is obsessively researched multivitamin designed for women by women and I just love that about them. Ritual is also vegan friendly, sugar free, non-GMO, gluten and allergen free, and is free of any sketchy additives or fillers. So you can just rest easy when you know you're taking them. The capsules are also designed to have no nausea design. They are gentle on an empty stomach. And like I mentioned before, they include this like minty tab in every bottle to help mask that fishy taste. Um, the subscription is so easy to start. You can easily hit snooze and it's only a dollar a day to have nine high quality nutrients in your bodies delivered every month, no strings attached. So right now, Ritual is offering all of my followers 10% off your first three months. It also fills in the gaps in your diet with essential nutrients for women, which is a small step that helps support a healthy foundation for your body. That's 10% off during your first three months months at ritual.com backslash vacuum. I'm going to have that link down below in my description box. So definitely click on that after watching today's video. And thanks again to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. But now we're going to go ahead and get started on my DIY project. So most of you guys know we're moving. And so we've been doing a lot of furniture shopping and figuring out what we're gonna use and what we're not. Basically 99% of everything in this house is going to the next one. But I was looking for a new TV stand and I could not find one anywhere. I finally found one and it was over $5,000. And I was like, okay, this is not gonna happen. I can just spruce my TV stand up and make it look nice, make it my dream TV stand for my dream home. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in today's video. I bought this um, a few years ago off Craigslist. It was like $35. It was a steal, but now I'm going to go ahead and repaint it, add some new hardware, and just try to make it resemble my dream um, TV stand. So I ordered these handles and a few knobs, and then I'll show you what we're going to do just to kind of spruce it up. Cool. 
So the very first step was just emptying out all the drawers. I threw it in one big box because all of this is gonna go back in this drawer later once it's all done. Next, I'm having Chase remove the handles. If you've been around for a little bit, we did update these handles already. It came with black ones and I was trying to pull some gold into the living room. They worked really well for the time being, but I really loved those clear handles on the piece that I found in the store. So I just ordered those online and got them in. I also want to give this a fresh coat of paint. Um, I've never painted this piece and it was a really cream shade. It's not white. It's going to be hard to tell on camera because, you know, like whites all start looking alike, but I did want to kind of make it a few shades brighter. So I'm just going to go out into my organized garage. It's so nice having all my paint supplies organized now so I can find them easily. If you missed my garage organization video, definitely go back and check it out. I give lots of tips on how to organize your garage on a budget, so don't miss that one. But I knew I had leftover white paint. So literally to redo this TV stand, I'm just having to buy new hardware and it was inexpensive as well. If you already don't have a TV stand, look for old dressers on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. You can find great deals. Like I said, I bought this one as is with black handles for $35. So even just left alone, it was a great deal. So I love finding purchases like that. Now I'm just gonna jazz it up a little bit more so it matches the dream TV stand that I saw in the store, but in no way am I paying anything near $5,000. So here's the paint we're going to be using. This isn't anything fancy. I just bought exactly what my builder had bought when I was touching up our cabinets before we sold our home but the color is alabaster. Um, it's a beautiful color. We're actually using it at the new house. So that's a little wink wink into the new house. Um, I already have the brushes. Like I said, I already had the sandpaper and then I already had this paint left over. So this is just gonna be a super easy project. I do like to paint outside just because of the smell. And if there's any spills, it's just in our garage. But I also put down like an old bed sheet on the ground. You can tell it has lots of colors on it because Savannah's painted on this as well, but that just protects our garage floor just to keep it nice and clean. And then we're gonna go ahead and carry this piece out. It is so stinking heavy. This is like solid wood. I can't believe I bought it for $35. It was a steal. I love this piece and so I'm glad that I'm gonna be able to um, just remake it over and take it into our next home. I will say it has a footboard underneath it though, so I can't clean underneath it. Look how dirty it was under there. We're gonna tackle this here in a second, but first I'm gonna get to painting. I did go ahead and decide to sand it down just in case there was any loose paint. Typically, if your piece is already painted and there's no chipping, you don't necessarily have to do this step. It only takes a few seconds and it will help your paint stay. So if you don't mind doing it, go ahead and then you can go in and put the paint on. If you're painting a fresh wood and it has a gloss on it, you're really gonna have to sand it and really gonna have to scuff it up so that paint has something to adhere to. But like I said, if it's already painted, you're not really gonna have an issue. I'm not even priming this because it's already a light paint. Now, if this was a dark red or a dark blue and I was trying to go to white, I would prime it as well, but it's already a cream. And like I said, it's really hard to tell on camera that it's getting lighter. You're gonna see in a few slides, I show the difference. So you can see I actually am painting these lighter. I felt like it was a lot of work and there isn't a huge difference, but it is so much newer and cleaner and crisp now. So definitely stay until the end so you can see how this turned out.
the slide I mentioned earlier. I wanted to show you that I am painting it a lighter white. So right now it's a really cream um, color, almost a tan. I just wanted like a fresh, crisp white. I probably should have done this from the very beginning, but it was so hard to paint a piece of furniture that already looked okay. But I think it's gonna look so much better and just match the whites in my house now. So I do wish I would have done this sooner, but you know how projects go. Sometimes they are so hard to get started. Even if they're so easy to do, like this did not take much time at all. Sometimes the hardest part is just getting started and getting motivated to do it. Now we're gonna go back inside and tackle this mess that was underneath my TV stand slash dresser. Like I said, there's like a footboard at the bottom so I can't actually vacuum underneath it. I had no idea it was this bad. I'm actually so glad I did this before we moved so when we go to move things, I have less to clean. I had no idea it was gonna be this bad. I've gotten so used to my UV vacuum cleaning under all my furniture, I forgot it couldn't get underneath the stand. So it was just nice to go ahead and get this done it was disgusting. I'm so sorry if this is disgusting um, to watch, but it's super satisfying. So I wanted to give you some up close shots. And if you haven't cleaned underneath your TV stand in a while, this is just a really nice, friendly reminder. You might go vacuum underneath it. To do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days With your smile and the bar How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken? I'm gonna put the vacuum up, do a real quick switcheroo of the laundry, and then I'm gonna go back outside to do the second coat of paint. Since I'm doing two light colors, it only needed two layers. Um, like I said, if you're going from a darker color to a lighter color, you might need that third layer, but mine wasn't a huge extreme difference. This was so easy to do. Like I mentioned before, I wish I would have done it sooner because I'm so happy with it. And I really do love this dresser. I think it's beautiful. I have looked high and low for a TV stand and I just can't find one I love. And when I do, like I mentioned before, they're like $5,000, which is ridiculous. So I'm so happy that I'm just able to make over this piece and just give it a fresh new life. you do i'm not broken i'm just split in two hope you're fine and got time i'm not broken not broken not broken I 
decided to head back inside. Anytime I'm doing um, any projects in the garage, I'm in and out a lot. I'm checking on it. I'm doing second coats and I feel like my floors get so dirty. I can sit in my house and do nothing and my floors get dirty, but especially if I'm going in and outside. Plus our grass is slowly starting to die here and it's like a Velcro to my fur babies and wherever they lay, it falls down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a good quick vacuum. Um, as you can see, George is just hanging out right there. You're gonna see him in a few moments like living his best life. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these floors swept. When my house is out of control like this, I try to keep as much clean around it that I possibly can because I have boxes all over my living room. I've got Chase's clothes. I am so ready to get set up in the new house where all of our clothes are in our master bedroom. Um, we had moved them into Chase's bathroom here, but when we were showing our house, I didn't want people to open up cabinets and see his personal items. So I put them back in our dresser. So, and I did that in my bedroom as well. So I'm just so ready. I feel like we're in a little bit of a limbo right now until we move into the new house, but I'm so ready to get over there and just figure out our systems, figure out where our clothes can go and just have better function. Here is a current look at my living room. It was crazy, but it was really chilly the day that I painted these and they just weren't drying all the way out in the garage. So I wanted to bring them inside where the heater was and they did. They dried so much faster and then it's easier for Chase just to go ahead and add the hardware in here. You can really tell how much crisper they are. I felt like the piece before was cream and it was very farmhousey, like they had chipped it up. I love that it's a little bit more modern, a little bit more glam. And then we're gonna add these, you know, like clear and gold handles to it and totally level it up one more time. So now Chase is gonna go ahead and add the art hardware. This is something you can do. You obviously don't need a husband or a boyfriend to help, but if he's willing to do it, it gives me a break and then I can just focus on filming. So I'm gonna let him do it. Now that the drawers are dry and that Chase has added the beautiful hardware, I'm gonna go ahead and start inserting them back in. I am so happy with how this looks. At the very end, I'm gonna show you the end result. But first, I'm gonna work on getting the drawers back in place and then also putting everything that I had back in them. And then if you just wait a few more moments, we're almost done and you can see the final project. Here is the final reveal. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. No, it's not exactly like the one in the store, but I'm so happy to have reused a piece, reused paint. All I had to do was buy hardware, which was probably under $30 easy. 
and I saved myself $5,000. So if you have the budget for the $5,000 one, do it, own it, love it. But to me, I'll enjoy this piece so much more knowing I just brought new life to it. It was only $35 to begin with. I think it's gonna be perfect for the new house. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video and thanks again to Ritual for sponsoring the video. Don't forget to click on their link down below in the description box and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.